He doesn't seem to realize the scandal it will cause. Peter, you tell him. I've told him. Well, tell him again. The whole place is talking about it. Meaning some Pharisees, I suppose. Well, they know the law. Tax collectors cannot even enter the synagogue, and anyone who associates with them is as defiled as them. Yes, according to the Pharisees. But yes. Well, that's their argument. Peter, tell him I again. I told him! What do you want from me? I said Matthew's my blood-sucking enemy. I hate Matthew, but all Jesus would say is, well, why don't you join us as well? Andrew. Andrew, I'm not like you. I'm not a follower of priests and prophets. I'm a fisherman. I have my family to think of. You follow the Baptist? Now follow this one. Peter! Just leave me alone! Why did you bring him here to me? This is my life! <laughs> my nets? Boats. Go on! Follow him! Believe me! Come on. You can't talk to him when he's like this. Come on, Philip. This is where I belong. Master! It's a scandal for you to eat with these people. Don't you know who they are? We've lived our lives honorably, made sacrifices to keep the law. They are thieves, whores, usurers, violent and godless people. And now you sit and eat with such people who spend their lives in orgies and perversions. I'm not come to call the virtuous to repentance, but the sinners. And they might enter the kingdom of heaven even before you. Listen, Master, if you go and eat with these people, they will contaminate you. The whole town will abandon you. Look, James is right. James. The heart of the law is mercy. You can't! You can't! <laughs> Peace be with you. Thank you for coming to my house. Rabbi, you are welcome. Welcome, Rabbi. No, 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 don't move, I'll sit there. Why? This is my brother James. He's in the same business as I am. I drink to you in the name of all here. Rabbi, we want to hear your words. Please, speak to us. Yes. No, 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 let's speak first. No, let him decide. No, no. 
I'd like to tell you a story. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down, sit down. Shh, shh, shh. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> a certain man had two sons. And one day, the younger of these sons said to his father, Give me my share of your estate now. So his father divided his wealth between his two sons. And a few days later, this younger son set off for a distant land. And there he squandered all the money he had on riotous living. Now, not long after this, a great famine swept over the land. And the boy began to starve. He persuaded a farmer to hire him to feed his pigs. But he was so hungry that even the husks he was feeding the swine began to look good to him. And still, nobody gave him anything. Finally, the boy came to his senses. At home, Even my father's servants have enough food and to spare. And here I am starving to death. I will go home and ask my father to hire me as one of his servants. And so he set off. Now, he was still some distance from his home when his father saw him coming. And he was so filled with compassion that he ran towards his son and embraced him and kissed him. The boy said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and you. I am not worthy to be called your son. But his father called for the servants and said, bring me the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Put rings on his hands and shoes on his feet. Kill the fatted calf. We must celebrate with a feast. My son was dead and is alive again. Now, the older brother, at this time, was working in the fields. And as he came back to the house, he heard the noise of music and dancing. He called for one of the servants and asked what was happening. And he was told. At this, the older brother became very angry. And he refused to go into the house. The father came out, tried to plead with him, but he wouldn't listen. I have worked for you all this time, all these years, and never once have I disobeyed you. And in all that time, you've never even given me so much as a goat so that I could have a feast with my friends. My younger brother comes back, having spent all your money on harlots, and for him, you kill the fatted calf. Please, said the father. Please, try to understand. You are always with me. Everything I have is yours. But it is right to celebrate. Your brother was dead. And is alive again. He was lost. And is found.
Forgive me, Master. I'm... Just a stupid man. <laughs> 